Hello everyone, it's Pirenko from Team Forest. This video will show you how to manage slides on the um, Samba theme. So from your dashboard, click on Slides. And I already have here some slides, uh, but let's add a new slide. And um, this is the title for the slide. Um, And this is the content and um, slides are divided into groups so that you can um, uh, use different slider slides on different sliders if you want so I'm going to use one of the groups I already have here and I'm going to say that I want this slider to be displayed together with all the sliders that are in the Samba group okay and I'm going to set up a featured image for this slider I'm going to use one, uh, one here from the um, media library, set featured image and um, let's just publish it right away and uh, I think currently our home page is showing a, no sorry it's not showing a, a full slider but let's see that page so that you can see that our slider is already there, here it is. So this is the slide we have just created and these two were already here. So this slider is, is showing, like I told you, the Samba group slides and I'm um, just going to quickly show you some options here. You can decide to hide the, completely the text on the slider. Uh, you have two sizes for the text, medium and big. Let's try just a little bit bigger. You can put this, the text uh, in three positions horizontally and vertically I'm going to center it just an example you can set up a custom title a color title um, sorry title for the color and uh, also the background I, I usually don't use a solid color I use something with the opacity and uh, I'm applying also to the body color and I'm going to use white here for the body color so you can customize basically everything in terms of the the text the colors and the background and let's update so our, our slide before was like this and uh, should show should be centered now with a blue title and um, the content with the white on that background so this is how you manage the slides you have also here some other options you can use um, video HTML code like on the blog or on the portfolio, just an iframe code. And you can decide to show a button, which I'm just going to show you quickly. You set up the button text here. So just something really. Um, and uh, also the, UR the URL for this um, links, for this button. So I'm, I'm just putting something just for, for testing. And you can also decide if you want to open it on the same window or on a new window. So I'm just going to refresh again and we should see a button here now underneath. Here it is. Um, okay, so this is how we create single slides. Now let's um, see how we can integrate them into pages. Uh, well, first let's just see how, I, how, how we create this uh, full screen uh, slider page. So basically it's just a page as you can see here. But it is it has this special template. It's called page full screen slider, and it also has some special options here underneath. You have the option to make the slider not fill the whole the whole window height. This can be important if you want to place some content under. Uh, Auto play slideshow. That's it's currently off. We can turn it on. The slideshow delay, and here is where we can tell how the groups that we want to. Um, associate with this slider. Like I told you before, it was grabbing all the slides from the Samba group. Okay, so I uh, just changed the autoplay so that, that there's no need to to go here, come here and test, okay? Um, so this is the full screen slider page, okay? So let's see now how we can add it to, for instance, this uh, services page. Let's try and add it here on top. Uh, so all pages and uh, let's go to our services page and because I want to show you the featured slider feature 
um, we have to activate one of the we have to activate the page with sections template so that we have here some extra options because currently we only have the the page the this header option um, because this is the only option available for default pages um, so I was telling you page with sections and now we have here some more options and um, uh, we can turn on the feature slideshow or off so I, I'm telling you I'm telling that I want to use this feature slideshow I want to autoplay and um, set up here some some delay and also the group so update and now when we go to our page um, we have here this slideshow occupying the whole width of the page okay um, so I wanted to show you this and if you have this uh, this problem here or this lack of um, space it's because the I, I didn't create a section here before because this was another type of page but if, if you have any trouble with this and you don't want to to change the settings for this row just add an extra empty row here on top and um, when we update our page you'll have here some more some more spacing underneath um, okay so this is how how we we manage or we use this feature slideshow feature but uh, we can also I'm going to turn it off um, we can also use our slideshow um, in the middle of the page like like a, a short code slideshow um, so I'm going to put it here between the services and the tabs and using the, um, the visual composer I'm going to um, add it here like I told you between the services and the tabs I already have here one row so plus and um, where is our theme slider and um, this is um, the, um, the group slug so it's Samba group like I told you autoplay slider slider delay once again so it's always the same um, settings so update and now we should have a slider here between our, our services and um, and our tabs like I told you so uh, two ways of using uh, the, sh the team slider feature we can you can use it as a feature slider or you can insert it in the middle of the content i hope this was clear so thank you very much for watching